Today is August 28th and here is our buoy tent update. Uh, the wind was blowing pretty darn hard here today but this morning was nice enough and also having the incoming tide throughout most of the day definitely helped keep those wind waves down. Um, today I spent pretty much the entire day on the wash side. I know guys that uh, caught a fair number of fish over around Hammond and checkerboard on up into the ship anchorage on the Oregon side. Uh, for us today, I tried to stay out of that wind, and so I was pretty much from the fort all the way up to Portuguese Point above Shipwreck all day long today. And it seems like there are fish definitely scattered throughout, a lot of fish around. We ended up getting, I think we let 10 or 12 wild fish go and only keeping two hatcheries. So we landed a lot of coho today, which is great, and a handful of chinook, but action was awesome. We fished, spin fish all day filled with fish nip and didn't use anything else, no spinners, no baits. So a lot of great action, just using hardware, it was a lot of fun. But dang it, really wish a few more of those were hatchery. Heck, even just three or four more were hatchery, but letting go 10 or 12 wild fish, that was, was fun, but it was a little bit brutal having to see that many fish go. Um, let's see, one thing I did notice here today is that most of the fish that we got had either short tail or no sea lice whatsoever. In fact, one of the hatchery fish that we kept had uh, the little bumps, little measles, pimples on the outside of the skin, which is usually indicative, usually happens when they're in warm water for a fair amount of time. So that means that these fish have been in here for a little while, they've been staging, maybe feeding a little bit. There is an insane amount of anchovy in the river. Uh, the whales were up there too. The harbor seals were pushing bait balls around with the birds. A lot of bait, so a lot of competition. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh. Suspended. We're actually finally starting to catch fish, fish suspended again, and maybe that's because there's more coho around. Those coho will definitely tend to suspend up a little bit more. Um, but it also could be because we're seeing some colder water upriver. So today, above the bridge, I actually saw 59 degrees on my Lawrence. It's getting colder. Um, these tides are your moderate tides, not into the really big tides yet, so the tides are growing. So we are getting more of that ocean water pushing up but um, that was some cold water pushing up in there for sure and so maybe that's why the fish are coming up off the bottom earlier on in the season it was almost everything had to be on the deck even the coho 50 feet down dredging bottom but lately yesterday and today i'm catching fish at 16 20 30 on the counter even in deep water so that's a lot of fun i like catching them suspended those are your active aggressive fish um plan for tomorrow i don't know catch some hatchery fish <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a good time today. I had a really good crew, a lot of fun. Uh, it was a crew from Box Painting, one of my buddies, and we had just a blast. It was a great day out there, but man, more hatchery fish would have been nice. Uh, oh, flashers, holy cow, I almost forgot that. Really interesting thing happened today. So uh, Green Machine has been really good lately, but today it did not have one bite, not one bite on Green Machine. Red October did fairly well, but I'll tell you what, when Green Machine wasn't getting bit, I flipped over to a few more pawn shops and ran pawn shop on two of the rods. And pawn shop probably caught at least half our fish, if not more, maybe 60, 70% of our fish. It was getting ripped. And our back rods were dead today. Even having them suspended, the back rods had like one fish on all day. Everything else was middle and bow. So that just tells me that these fish were active. You get a lure in front of them, they will bite. So. Very fun day, great day. Hopefully tomorrow we find some more hatchery fish. But now, I gotta go pull the boat out of the water, fuel it up, spray off all the moss and grass that's collected over the last month, get a bunch of gear uh, set up, power wash everything, start over fresh. So, I'm gonna get back to work. And it is blowing really hard out there, so it's gonna be a wet ride to get the boat on the trailer. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, later.